Hello beautiful souls, Karen here from Soul Magic 99 This is a April reading for the water signs Okay, so we'll get on with it This is a chakra message, we have soul healing So I'll get the additional message for you This relates to the soul star chakra, which is the one above the crown. You have called this card today as a deep soul healing is at hand. Your soul is an all-powerful conscious aspect of your being and is currently undergoing a healing process. This awakening can sometimes stir things up in your life as it creates the change required to expand to a higher state of awareness. You are undergoing a rite of passage where the things that are not working in your life are being reviewed. Know this chaos is a positive thing. It is what's required at this time. There is a divine order to this chaos and you are being asked to trust and listen and action the loving guidance from your soul. Your soul holds the medicine for you to heal and knows what's best for you. It is a time of deep cleansing and you are encouraged to let go of the old as you make way for the new. Soul healing allows for healing on all levels of your being, emotional, physical, spiritual, mental, a complete cleansing on all levels, aspects and states of being. Be very gentle and kind to yourself as you transmit through this very powerful, important time. Be sure to nurture yourself through this process, giving yourself lots of love and care. Listen to the messages your body and soul are offering you and follow through on the guidance. Amazing awakening is happening for you right now and soon you will reap the rewards. Know the process you are currently undergoing is a powerful injection of positive light from your soul as you heal deeply. Affirmation I open to receive deep soul healing now and embrace the support of pure love to guide my healing journey. So that's wonderful and that could have relevance for a lot of you at this time. So know that your soul is receiving cleansing. We have community, uh, number seven, <clears throat> a very spiritual number. And this could be about the spiritual community. You may be in the spiritual community. You may work within the spiritual community. Or you may purely be somebody that likes to help their fellow neighbours, you know, friends in the, in the neighbourhood, or people you don't even know. But you get a lot back by giving. You like to give to others and to help serve your community so that's very positive especially at this time when there's a lot of people that need help <clears throat> door to value so by doing this work on your soul you will open yourself up and you will feel the value of yourself you will have that self-esteem and you know you are worthy you are coming into that time when you recognize the worthiness of yourself and you will open the door to value within your own heart. Have confidence. Moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough, along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us as your confidence wavers and we will have your courage. Sorry, we will buoy your courage and faith. <clears throat> So even if you don't have confidence in yourself, have confidence in God. God will always support you, okay? He will always be there for you. So just call on him whenever you don't feel you have the confidence to move forward in life. Because he will always support you. Innocence. Beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth, as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger or blame that may shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. So yeah, we are all innocent in God's eyes. We are all guiltless in God's eyes. We are made perfect and just trust in that. There's a message from Archangel Michael. Forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. I ask that you help me to let go of self-blame and forgive myself 
Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear toward others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centred and at peace. So those of you that are feeling guilty or full of blame about a situation, you know, or feeling that way about another person, just forgive yourself and forgive them and move on. And call on Archangel Michael to help you at this time because he will always be there. Transformation. This fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation, the best is yet to come. So that's beautiful, you know, that is saying that you are transforming at this time. And as a lot of people are having to, you know, go stay in and not venture out at all, this is a good time to go within. And by doing this and doing some soul searching, this will assist in your transformation. So it's very positive. Moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthfully. Although the fairies say a little bit of what you fancy is fine. So maybe this is a message for someone out there. Maybe you've been overindulging a bit. Sometimes if we get a bit worried or anxious or stressed, we can turn to eating more. And it's just saying do everything in moderation, okay? Because you don't want to gain on the pounds and then have trouble to get rid of them again. And a little bit of what you fancy is fine. So let's see what the tarot messages have for us. So we have the fall. So this is about new beginnings, you know, fearlessly moving forward. You know, it's uh, the beginning of the tarot deck. And the fool moves forward, you know, he's not looking back. And he's not even looking where he's going. He just has that faith and belief that he will get to the right destination. And he's moving forward fearlessly in life, okay? Of the three of pentacles. I do feel this is about, I always get the, the message that this is about somebody that's trying to communicate with you or vice versa. Um, maybe you keep writing texts or messages and you keep deleting them and you're trying to manifest somebody into your life. You know, there's like a potion bottle there and a candle and there's a lucky black cat. And I think it's somebody who can't really put their thoughts into words at this time. That could be you or the other person. Shadow side. So you may need to do some work on your shadow side at this time. We all have that dark element to us. And we do try and ignore it. But it is part of who we are. And by working on this, it will really help you to heal. Don't be afraid of your shadow side, okay? Because once you look there, you will put, shine the light into it, okay? So you, everyone needs to work on their shadow side. It will help you with your healing. And we have karma. So there could be some karmic issues there that are needing to be healed. And it looks like an eclipse moon there. So maybe the next eclipse, I'm not sure when that is, is a good time for you to do a, a ritual to release your karma you know, to move on from the past, do a healing ritual, just to let go of the past, because we cannot change the past, okay, we just can move on and learn from it. Got the Eight of Pentacles, so someone is working really, really hard, and whenever I see the candle in this, it always reminds me of burning the candle at both ends, so maybe somebody has been not been able to sleep very much, and they've been working really hard, you know, trying to build up their finances, their coin. And obviously, you know, the situation we're in, it's forcing people to take a, a pause and reflect, really, at this time. Uh, it might be an ample opportunity to get some rest and relaxation, you know, because money isn't everything, okay? With the Nine of Cups. 
So yeah, there's somebody is, you know, feeling full of emotion. They're falling, feeling emotionally abundant, financially stable and secure. They're very independent, you know, they're quite happy on their own. Of the Six of Cups, I do think the person, you know, maybe you, the viewer, is reminiscing about somebody from the past. You know, it could be a past connection, it could be a, um, a friendship from childhood, or maybe visions of a past life relationship. And it was a very happy time. We've got six cups here, which are full, fill up, really, with hope and abundance and love. And we've got the water there, and it's a never-ending flow of emotion, is what I feel. And then we have the four of wands, so there's some sort of commitment coming on here, some stability. And this looks like a, um, a wedding celebration to me. Maybe some of you are getting married or going to a wedding. And there's a cute little ginger and white cat down there. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a very happy time for some people. You know, there's joyous dancing and happiness here. We have the page of wands. So, yeah, this is a passionate message coming in, I believe. Yeah, this is a passionate message that's going to come in very soon. You know, we've got the blossom there on the wands. So I think it is coming in, you know, within the next few weeks. So now we're getting a message from the Universal Love card. We've got Eternal Flame, which came out in one of the other readings. I'll read you the message. <coughs> An eternal flame glows within you. It is the flame of perpetual truth. It will burn when the opinions, advice and urgencies of the world fade away. It is there now and always, encouraging you to stand in your truth and live by your heart. Do not be swayed by popularity or trends. Investigate, consider and put the views of others to the test. But if they don't inspire or support you, set them aside. If they contradict your beliefs and observations, leave them be. Your faith in yourself is being put to the test. Truth can withstand any trial. Will you hold your ground or give in? What is right for one is not necessarily the right path for another. Walk your own path. Know your own heart and mind. Stand firm, empowered and liberated. So yeah, it's about knowing your truth. Believing in your inner truth. You know, using your intuition to detect what is right and wrong for you in this world. Okay? You can listen and watch other people's opinions and, you know, view the media. But what is your truth, okay? Know your own truth, and in that way you, you are strong. So let's get some love messages for April. So we have reconciliation here. Someone from your past is returning to your life, which links in with the Six of Cups. So maybe someone else has been thinking of you also, okay? And this, you know, you're, you're pulling each other to towards each other you're both feeling the same and we've got engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so we saw the four of wands the stability of possible commitment here and the page of wands coming in with a passionate message so these are all linked obviously something positive is on the horizon for some of you here okay Wait, don't rush into it, allow nature to take its course. So maybe you're being cautioned at this time to not make hasty decisions. Okay, just go with the flow and see what happens. But it's looking all positive for you. And then we have sacred union. Honour and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. So that's amazing. For some of you there is going to be that reconciliation, that commitment. And moving forward into union. So that's wonderful news. So let's get some uh, lucky fortune cookie messages. And romance again. Love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. 
So for some of you, it will be a reconnection, as we saw, and some it could be somebody new coming in. And romance is on the agenda, so that's very happy and positive, isn't it? And we've got society. So yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles will be the result. So for those of you single that are looking for love, this is a message to get out there this month, okay? Accept any invitations, you know, network and you will meet somebody new. So that's all very positive, isn't it, for April? So thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and comment down below. If you'd like a personal reading, please email me at soulmagic99 at gmail.com. <coughs> Details will be down below. I will be doing another giveaway of 500 subscribers, which will be a free five question reading plus a tarot deck or vice versa cards. And that will be the gift. So please keep watching. Thanks for watching and have a good month and take care. Bye for now.